Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Stephanie. Today I'm gonna do a first impression and I'm gonna wear it throughout the day and check in um, on the new Hard Candy Glamouflage Foundation. Yes, I said Glamouflage Foundation. They finally came out with a foundation after everybody fell in love with their Glamouflage Concealer, which I, I love, but Today I'm going to be trying out this foundation and I will wear it throughout the day and I will check in with you guys and let you know what I think. I'll give you all the pricing, all that good stuff. So if you are curious about this foundation, please keep on watching. Hi guys, I'm so excited because I finally found at Walmart the new Hard Candy Glamouflage Invisible Camouflage Foundation. It was um, $7 at Walmart, and then I also picked up the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Eye Brightening Concealer in light, and the concealer was $6, and it looks like this. The color I got in the foundation was 930 Porcelain. It was the lightest one because I am very, very fair. I haven't tried either one of these, so I wanted to do a first impression today. I'm really excited. I already did my eyes, but I have nothing on my face. I don't have a primer, nothing. So we're going to test this out. I'll wear it throughout the day and check in and let you guys know what I think. I checked the website to see how many different shades there was, but this may be too new to be on their website because I couldn't find it. I know from what I remember, I think there was seven or eight different shades. The lightest one doesn't look very light though, so we'll see. I love the packaging. I think it's so freaking cute. It has a pump, which is amazing. I love that. Let's see what it says on the back. A transforming liquid powder foundation that absorbs oil, camouflages imperfection, delivers a long-lasting velvet finish. This skin perfecting fluid contains super fine pigments for seamless full coverage without looking caked on. Infused with um, kaolin clay for exceptional wear and oil absorption, skin retains moisture and for 12 hours of flawless perfection and it's transfer resistant. That's awesome! If you've watched my channel before, you know I'm obsessed with the Glamouflage concealers. Um, in the past, I have worn these as foundation because it's the only thing that I found that can really cover all my rosacea and redness. I do have some acne right now. You see all my redness, so I know that the Glamouflage concealer is amazing. Let's see if the Glamouflage foundation is amazing. I am so excited when I found this. I was just like almost screamed in the store. So I'm going to pump some on the back of my hand. Looks like that. It's not very liquidy. I mean, it's kind of like a normal foundation. Has kind of a weird smell to it. I have not applied it yet. I don't know if this is my right color. I don't know how many how much I need, so let's just go for it. It feels really lightweight. Like I it, it doesn't even feel like I'm applying anything. And the coverage Wow, it blends out like in one second. And this color looks like it works perfect for me. It's not too pink, it's not too yellow. I would say it's more neutral in tone. Wow, this like blends out just so amazing. I can't explain the texture of this. It feels like silk is what it feels like. It's a crazy feeling. So far, I'm really impressed and I'm really excited. So let's finish the rest here. Okay, so that is one layer. I am gonna do another layer just because I have really red skin and all that good stuff and I want to see if it's buildable. So, it's already dry to the touch. That's good, so it does dry quickly, which is nice. Let's see if it's buildable or if this is just going to ruin everything. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's definitely buildable. It is beautiful. I am so excited right now. I really hope this wears nicely. Because I'm already loving the coverage, the feeling of it. I said that it had a weird smell, but when you apply it to your skin, you can't you can't smell anything. So don't let that like keep you back from trying it. You can smell it when you like if you were to smell your hand, you could smell it, but when you put it on your face, you really can't smell it. Ah. And I'm just using a beauty blender, obviously, to Blend it out. Oh gosh, I really, really, really am liking this coverage. Let's blend it down the neck. I probably could have even gone one shade darker and I probably will get the next shade darker just so I can see maybe I can mix them because this is pretty light now that I have it on my face since the coverage is so full coverage it is it is really light I, I, I am seeing that and I am seeing in the camera I look kind of ghostly but I'm gonna powder and bronze it'll all be fine but I will get the next color up and see if that one works for me now I really want to try this eye brightening concealer it says 10 beauty benefits in one it reduces puffiness diffuses shadows softens wrinkles even skin tone eliminates dark circles blurs lines brightens conceals corrects and lifts so that's pretty cool and this is brand new as well I got the lightest shade the packaging is so cute it's just a sleek little pin like this and you just pump it up I already pumped it up before the video because it took a really long time so let's see how this works oh right off the bat I see that this is darker than my foundation and I do not like that, so let me see. Oh, and also, look, it, the concealer took the foundation right off. So, right off the bat, I don't like this. I don't like the color. I don't like what it did to the foundation, and I'm not even going to try to use it. There's no lighter color than that, so I don't think I'll ever, you know, purchase that. So let me fix the foundation. And what I'm going to actually use is going to be the Hard Candy Glamouflage in Ultra Light. And I'm just going to use that underneath my eyes as my under eye concealer slash highlighter because I already know that I like this product I don't know how it will go over the foundation though so let's see that It goes over the foundation beautifully. So that went over the foundation pretty good. I'm really happy with that. So, so far I like the Glamouflage Concealer with the foundation. I did not like this. I'm Maybe I can try it over a different foundation, but you would think since this is hard candy that these would go together good, but nope, not impressed with it. I'm just going to set my under eyes with um, Rimmel Stay Matte. This one's in Buff Beige. I'm just going to set that, and then I'm also just going to use a little bit of MAC Emphasize 
under there just to brighten it back up. And then I'm going to set my face. Okay, so I'm just going to set everything with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. This one's in 110 Porcelain. And I'm just going to take my e.l.f. stippling brush and I'm just going to tap this all over the foundation. But before I do that, this is what the coverage of the foundation looks like. I am really, really excited about it. It looks gorgeous. And the way it feels, I can't explain it. You guys just really, you have to pick it up and try it if you like a full coverage just so you can feel the texture. And this powder looks flawless over it. Like, look at that. I am so excited right now. Oh my goodness. It feels like silky smooth. I'm really impressed so far, and I cannot wait to wear this throughout the day and see if it wears amazing because if it does this is going to be such an amazing drugstore full coverage foundation because if you are a girl like me and you have rosacea and acne and acne scarring and just anything that you want to hide you know it's really hard to find a drugstore foundation that's full coverage it's really hard to actually find yeah you can find some in sephora for like 50 bucks but for seven dollars oh my gosh i'm so excited so right now it is 11 14, 11 15 in the morning i'm just going to finish the rest of my face i'll check back and show you how everything looks and i'll tell you how my blush and bronzer went over it and then i will wear it throughout the day and check in so i'll be right back Okay, so it is 11.25, and this is the rest of my makeup. I feel like my blush, my bronzer, my highlight, everything went on more pigmented, and it just really, like, went on really, really nicely and blended out really nicely. Right now, I am just so freaking excited about this. Like, I can't even tell you. I, can, I have not been this excited about a makeup product in a really, really long time, and I just cannot wait to see how it wears throughout the day. So, like I said, it's 11.25 right now, and I will check back in a couple of hours with you guys. So here is a close-up of the makeup. I just did something fun on the eyes, just a little bit of glitter. I'm off today, and... I just wanted a little bit of sparkle. So I'll check back with you guys in a few hours and let you know what I think. I'm not gonna touch up, I'm not gonna blot, I'm not gonna do anything. I did set everything with makeup spray, just because I always do, but I'm gonna have a review coming up on this soon. I don't know how I'm feeling about it. I don't really think that it really does extend the wear or anything. I'll be talking about this in a different video. But anyways, I'll check back with you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, I'm back for a check-in. It is 4.30, so I've been wearing it for about five hours. I went and ran some errands, and then I was doing some work on my laptop on my bed, and I guess I fell asleep, and I woke up with my face against a pillow. So when I w woke up, I was like, great, everything's gonna be off my whole face. So I came in to do a checkup right now, and I'm looking Nothing is off. All my bronzer, my highlight, the foundation, nothing has moved. Nothing has, you know, you know when you lean against something, like when you're sleeping and then you wake up and everything's smeared and it just looks greasy and you just don't look very good? It looks perfect. I'm not oily. I'm not, I haven't touched up at all. This is the first time in five hours that I'm looking at myself. And I am so excited about this product. All my lipstick is gone, obviously, but who cares about that? That's not what this is about. I'm just really, really excited about this foundation. It is so nice. I don't know how it looks on camera, but in real life, it's amazing. And then when I went outside, Later on, when I run back out, I'm going to bring my camera with me and show you guys in natural light how it looks. It looks like you're not wearing any product. Like, it's so, like, silky that it, like, sinks into your skin and you cannot see 
any foundation on your skin. I don't know how to explain it. It's really, really nice. I don't know how they get so much coverage with this like lightweight, silky feeling. I have never experienced a foundation like this, so I'm really excited. So anyways, um, like I said, it is 4.30. I'll check in in another couple hours. I'm gonna wear this for as long as I can because it did say 12 hour wear. So I will check in in a little bit, you guys. Hey guys, so I'm here for my final check-in. It is 8.15 at night. So I've been wearing this for about <clears throat> nine, nine and a half, no, nine hours, I would say. And let's check. I haven't really checked. It looks like it's worn off a little bit around my nose, but that's okay because I get really oily in that area. I have not touched up. I have not powdered. I have not done anything to my face. And I would say it's just so, it's so nice and it feels so lightweight on your face. I'm very, very impressed. I do want to see what it would look like if I touch up. So, of course, my powder's not in here. What? Okay, well, I'm just going to use this powder, the Rimmel Stay Matte in Buff Beige. I just want to see what it would look like. It looks perfect to me right now. I'm not too oily. Only thing I see is it wore off around my nose. So let's just powder. See what that does. And I didn't wear it with a primer, so I feel like if you wore it with a primer, it probably would last more around my nose area. This is where I get really oily. So I would say I love it. I'm so excited, like so excited that they came out with this because I've always loved the concealer. I have a video showing the concealer as a foundation. This is way thicker though compared to this. So I know a lot of people, you know, wouldn't really want to wear this as a foundation, but having rosacea and bad skin, it's hard to find something that <clears throat> covers everything from the drugstore. So I've always loved this, love this. But now that they have this, oh my God, I'm so freaking excited. And wearing it throughout the day, I think it did oxidize a little bit because now it matches me perfectly. Like at first when I put it on, I was like, ooh, that is white, like really, really white. And I look like ghostly, but I am very, very pale anyways. And throughout the day when I was wearing it, it just, it just blends in perfectly. And like I said, the texture of it, you just really have to pick it up to know what I, to see what I'm talking about. It is so like lightweight. And I mean, even when I like rub my forehead, it doesn't come off. It says it's transfer resistant, but you know, most foundations say that and girl, they're not transfer resistant. You go and hug your man and then your makeup's all over his uh, shirt or whatever. This is awesome. I am so impressed and happy. I mean, $7 at Walmart, easy to go pick up. I mean, you can get it anywhere. I'm just, I love it. I'm so excited. Like this is probably going to be... I can already tell my new favorite foundation. The one I've been using before this one was the Maybelline Matte and Poreless, which I still really do love, but this is way thicker than this. I love the feeling of this. It is so silky and like kind of feels like you're putting like a lotion on your face. Like it's so thin, but it covers everything. I highly, highly recommend picking this up and trying it out it's seven bucks. If you don't like it, you can always return it at Walmart. They take, they, at my Walmart at least, you can return makeup. This, on the other hand, I am definitely returning. It is very, very dark. I like my, it says it's a eye brightening concealer. So I was excited because I want, you know, an under eye brightener. This is way, way darker. It's like, this is the lightest color and it's very, very dark. So if you're pale like me, don't even pick this up. It's not worth it. And then as you guys saw in the video, when I put it on, it took off the foundation. I, I don't like this, so I will be returning this. But this, I'm, I love. I love it. 
wore it for nine hours. I even took a nap. And you know, like when you wake up from naps, sometimes you, you just look, stuff moves around. You just don't like, I don't know how to explain it. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, but everything's perfect. My blush, look at this, nine hours. Look at my bronzer, my blush, look at my highlight. You, everything is like still in place and still looks so good. So, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. If you guys find this, pick it up. Just pick it up and try it. I'm sure you'll love it. Especially if you have oily skin. I have super oily skin and I wasn't oily at all. I mean, yeah, it wore off a little bit around my nose, but I can touch that up. That's not a big deal to me at all. I love how it wore throughout the day. With a primer, I think it will be perfect. With this primer right here, the L'Oreal Youth Code Pore Vanisher. That's what I'm gonna to try to use tomorrow. I'm sure it'll be awesome. I'll let you guys know how I like this combo. Maybe I'll use it in a future tutorial to show you guys. But all in all, I am gonna get ready for bed because I have work tomorrow. So I'm gonna wash all my makeup off and everything, but I wanted to check in one last time and let you guys know I love it and pick it up. I'm like moving around because I'm trying to show you like I did not I swear I did not touch anything up I mean look my lips are all off like oh I'm like so impressed so freaking impressed even with this foundation I love this foundation but by like six hours I noticed my my like powders not my powders my blush and like bronzer and stuff has faded a lot this is like it's like on there like oh so excited. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you aren't subscribed and I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video.